for topic B problem, any price going loss might be harmful. From my point of view, there are three main reasons. First of all, price ceilings might be lower than equilibrium price. Uh, in natural disasters, food is certainly needed, which means that they're very elastic. In this circumstance, the equilibrium of demand and supply will be relatively high. Since raising the price from more than 10% is legal, the price ceiling is relatively low. Therefore, the price ceiling might be lower than equilibrium, which creates shortage. The demand will be extremely high and supply will be extremely low. Uh, this circumstance will be worse until disaster ends, at which the supply increase. Additionally, if price is not high enough, the seller will not be willing to sell. That is say, they have low seller surplus. When disaster comes, all people, including sellers, need food. If they cannot earn money from selling, they will rather choose to consume the food themselves or even waste them. For example, in the 1920s, America was experiencing economic depression. All people need food then, but capitalists were not allowed it to increase the price intensely. In order to keep the price high, they even poured milk and other foods, uh, which makes uh, so many people are not able to afford food. Besides, the law might hurt the benefit of sellers. When disasters come, uh, the food price must be increased and might be he uh, higher than the world price. To protect the consumers, the government should input some food which will occupy some market of domestic sellers and make it difficult for domestic people to trade. Although this can force sellers to, to decrease the price of domestic food, those sellers might suffer deficit and might be able to afford less food in the future. Therefore, uh, if the price is not allowed to raise high enough, the win-win condition cannot be realized and nobody can gain benefit.